Hey everyone, Shabby here and welcome to our first random match here on WWE 2K18. Now before we start things off, I want to apologise quickly about the draft. It was supposed to be uploaded on Friday, but we had a few issues. Um, everywhere to plan with the recording, it all went absolutely spot on, apart from me losing PJ Toby at the wrong train station, that sort of stuff. But yeah, that's what happens, isn't it, I suppose? Um, and my computer crashed halfway through the upload, so that held it back. Then WWE themselves actually blocked the video because it contained a little bit of Shawn Michaels' entrance, which is a real video rather than actually something from the game. So it got very messy and, yeah, it was frustrating. It really was. But thankfully, we're finally up sorted. Of course, the draft is going. It's going pretty well. It's got over 100 views already in the first 24 hours. So we are laughing. And today, our first random match, as suggested by Fabian Schluter. Hoping I'm pronouncing everyone's names correctly. It is going to be a fatal four-way elimination match here. It's Alistair Black, Hideo Itami, Kevin Owens, and Shinsuke Nakamura live from the NXT arena. Um, ugh, that's frustrating, that. Alistair Black, I'm assuming that his name is too long to fit in uh, the board there, which is why it's got is one solid word. It's a bit frustrating. Of course, we'll have the Alistair Black core, as you can see here, which is actually not bad considering... That the game's only been out for a couple of days, really. Uh, to get a core of this quality is not that bad. Its face is not perfect, but of course, it doesn't matter too much because as soon as a real DLC comes out, this will be deleted and the DLC version will take over. So, of course, like I said, this one was suggested by Fabian Schluter. And, of course, if you have any other suggestions for random matches you would like to see, then drop them down in the comments section down below. Of course, what we do is we put them all on little notes of paper. I put them all on a hat. And before I uh, record every video, I pull a random one out the hat, and that is the match that we will record there. And then, of course, it is yours. You do get a shout-out in the process. Uh, a new thing, though, to this year's random matches is going to be the introduction of ranking points. Now, just a little bit extra, just to make the uh, the random matches a bit more special, give them a bit more of a, a point, a bit more of a reason. And I felt like uh, ranking points would be a clever way of doing it. So because this is a fatal four-way, of course, it is worth 20 ranking points to the winner and minus five ranking points to the three losers. So, it's a big one. This is a big one. And this is actually my first match that I'm going to properly watch in WWE 2K18. Of course, we did the draft. We put some matches in the background. But myself and PJ Tovey were fully engrossed in our draft. Um, we missed the end of a few matches. But I had not chance to really see any of the matches in proper. Uh, not seen many dynamics. I saw a couple of little interesting things. Uh, that I was quite uh, intrigued by. It'll be interesting to see if we can get some more of those happening for us today. But it'd be yeah, I'd say that I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I am. I'm. You can hear my voice. I'm really uh, excited here. I'm. I'm feeling as much as I possibly can while the entrances happen. But I want to see this match. I want to see what WWE 2K18 has in store for us. It's gonna be oh, Cassius Ono. Actually, a real Cassius Ono for a change. Rather than the dodgy calls we've had the last few years. Cassius is one of those people that's notoriously quite difficult to make. As was Bobby Roode. There was never a fantastic Bobby Roode available. Which has always been annoying for me. Uh, but now of course it looks like we do have... Well we've got Bobby Roode in the game. We do of course have Cassius Ono in the game as well. So uh, we're laughing. We've got so many new people in the game this year. A lot of calls that uh, we had last year. We don't need them more because we've got the real versions. Which has given us a hell of a lot of core spaces. Um, hence the reason why our roster's so big, I suppose. I was look at the rosters today, like, majority of them have got around about 70 people on each roster, which is pretty insane when you consider um, that's probably about an increase of about 10 to 15 per roster from last year. So that is a real insane uh, increase. So, of course, like I said, this one is worth... 20 ranking points. The first 20 ranking points that will be fought for here on SWE. And of course the fourth and final member of this match is Mr. Shinsuke Nakamura. Now I think, yeah, three of these guys have not actually used the tool yet. Um, Shinsuke was involved in one of the matches during the draft. Which was pretty cool. Uh, but again, like I said, I didn't really get a chance to see it. I think uh, during the draft, I believe that Cesaro interfered. In Shinsuke Nakamura's match, if I remember correctly, which was a uh, quite a cool little thing. It's, it's a new thing I've not seen before, so be interested if we can get some more of it in this one. Uh, the the it was a really clever actually. It was a nice way of doing the interference because sometimes you get the interference and it doesn't really have a massive effect. But on that one, it was in the middle of the match. Um, 
Cesaro's music played out. The referee and Shinsuke got distracted staring up at the ramp. And then Cesaro slid in the back of the ring and actually hit Shinsuke with a neutralizer. Um, which then led to um, Cesaro rolling out the ring. Referee turned around and Finn Balor going for a pin. He only got a two count on that time though. But uh, that was pretty cool. I, I, I quite enjoyed that that little dynamic, that extra little extra little thing there with the um, with that. I thought that was pretty cool. Alright, so we are actually a little bit behind with the random matches. They did plan to upload one every single day this week, but uh, I got a little bit behind, of course, because of the the problems we have with the draft and so forth. So we're going to catch up a little bit. There's going to be quite a few random matches. I'm going to try and get, uh, is it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 uploaded by Friday? So, yeah, keep an eye out for that. Keep an eye out for that. I've got, um, I've already pulled the, the next ones out of the hat, actually. And you'll be happy to know that Every single match is from a different person, so that's worked out pretty well. And here we go, then Shinsuke entering the ring. I am looking forward to this. I really am. I've been looking forward to this now for so long. The thing is, I've been struggling with. Um, I've been struggling with 2K17 for quite some time because I knew that 2K18 was coming, and I just wanted to see the good, the goodness. The goodness. I want to see something good. I want to see something better because uh, I got really frustrated with. Um... Yeah, I got really frustrated with uh, with WWE 2K17. Eventually, it just it, it stopped working to an acceptable level for me. And I'm just hoping on this one we're going to see some better stuff. I'm hoping that the tag team matches work better. I'm hoping that six man tag works, eight man tag works, eight man ladder match works. And this is our first attempt at using the match creator as well. Because like I said, this is a fatal four-way elimination match. I've made this myself. I have uh, tweaked it a little bit from what was requested. Well, it was requested as a fatal four-way elimination. I've made it a fatal four-way elimination uh, falls count anywhere. So pinfalls can happen outside the ring as well, which is not a major problem, is it? I just feel like it might smooth the game out a little bit. It might uh, allow people to disappear off and fight in different areas. Well, Fabian, I think you might have picked uh, four guys who were very, very long entrances. Because it was... Uh, well, I'm seven and a half minutes into this video already. Of course, I'm probably going to cut a little bit out at the beginning, which was a loading screen for me anyway. So it'd be a bit less for you. But uh, yeah, four pretty long entrances. Shinsuke don't help. He's got one of the longest entrances in, known to history, isn't he? Um, also, I know there is one duplicate wrestler, uh, two duplicate wrestlers. It's amazing when you start to ask people for their random match ideas. It's amazing how many people generally ask for the same people. Your likes of your Finn Balor's and... And so what? Actually, Finn Balor's triplicated if you look at it that way, but you'll understand that a bit more as we go forward. Cassius Ono, yeah. A lot of stuff going on. Finally, the, uh, we are underway. And you've got Hideo Itami and Nakamura fighting out. And they're down to the outside. The ring mat looks a little bit felt. I don't know why. Is that supposed to look like that? I don't know. It just looks a little bit um, like fluffy, doesn't it? So we've got uh, Ono and Hero inside the ring. Nope. Ono and Alistair Black inside the ring. Ono and Hero are the same person. And we have got uh, Nakamura and Hideo on the outside. Still a little bit randomness there by Cassius Ono, but it's not a major problem. As long, as long as the match is finished correctly, that's the main thing for me. I'm done with dodgy finishes to matches. That's what always frustrated me. It really did. Chop there by Hero now. Bring in Alistair Black back up. And Hero dragging Alistair Black along. Slamming him face first into the turnbuckle. I quite like that new dynamic. That's the new drag dynamic that's been brought in this game. Uh, which is quite nice. Hero now top. Looking to bring Alistair Black down potentially with a superplex. He does. Big, big move there. So remember, because this is elimination, it doesn't matter so much with people trying to block off other people's pins and submissions. Hopefully they won't try and block off each other's pins and submissions. That'd be a bit stupid. But uh, that, that for me is, is a good one. I quite like that. The fact that that's the way it is. I always used to prefer the elimination before, and then of course when the when they took the match rules out of the game a couple of years ago, that really frustrated me because Fatal Four Way Elimination was always one of my favourites, and I'd like to be able to change some other stuff as well, like um, maybe make it a six man elimination match or something like that. But I don't know. We did do an eight man ladder match during the draft, and that didn't really work. It worked okay, but it was a little bit laggy, a little, little bit um, glitchy, and I'm not quite sure if that was good or not. Or if that was standard or whether it might have been uh, patched out a little bit. Now, I wasn't quite sure, but yeah. I don't know. 
That's Dragon Screw there by Alistair Black on Cassius Ono. Uh, and my eyes are always drawn to the fight that's gone inside the ring, so I do apologize if I miss anything of Shinsuke Nakamura and Hideo Itami on the outside. As uh, Shinsuke really dropping the knees right into the, sh oh, the shoulder, is that, of uh, Hideo Itami as Ono taking Alistair Black. Oh, that's nice as well. Oh, Buckle Bomb. Okay. This new um, dynamic, I quite like it. The lifting and carrying dynamic is actually quite good. Cassius has used it quite well now, twice. And that buckle bomb was a really good example. And it's the black now, right hand in the gut of Chris Hero. This is the problem I'm going to have, is trying to get people's names right, isn't it? Uh, okay, Chris Hero is his correct name, I'm not going to lie. But, um, of course, it's Cassius Ono now, and here we go. Alistair Black using this drag function, but Ono fighting back, and the, uh, the oh, was that a Kinshasa on the outside there by Shinsuke Nakamura and Hideo Itami, referee drops the outside, one, two, and three, and Hideo Itami has been eliminated, you know what, I've not, ch oh no, I've not changed the, I've turned the commentary off, haven't I, yeah, that's alright, I was a little bit worried, I was going to say, I haven't changed the settings yet, but I must have done, I must have turned it off, okay. So, so far, I'm actually uh, quite enjoying it. The, the standard of match does look to be a little bit better. There's a couple of little things they've tweaked, which seems to make it work a little bit better. Still keeping the old, um, when you're knackered out, rolling out the ring uh, dynamic of last year, which I quite like as well. As we saw Ono lining up for this a minute ago. I think it's the discus big boot, is it? There he is. Missed him. Well, that was disappointing, wasn't it? <laughs> Cassius Ono missed the discus big boot there on uh, Shinsuke Nakamura as Alistair Black re-enters the ring. Alistair Black, of course, trained partly by Cassius Ono. And they've had some incredible matches against each other as well. As This could be interesting. So if, if Ono hits this, boom. Oh, and then I thought if it was a slight second later, then... Um, Alistair Black could have gone for the double foot stomp. So this is where it gets a little bit crazy when you get three people in the ring together and they're all just going for it. Nice stunner there off the knee by Alistair Black. Now Black catching uh, Ono again. It's the same manoeuvre. And Alistair Black now heading up top. Is he going to go for the double foot stomp? Or well, the coup de grace as it's known by Finn Balor. It looks like he is lining it up. There it is, the big double foot stomp by... Alistair Black, is it going to be enough to eliminate Cassius Ono from this one? No. Alistair Black looking to continue the assault and... Oh, he's milking Cassius Ono back up to his feet and changed his mind about that. And oh, a big knee strike right on the side of the face. Oh, Nakamura catching Alistair Black who was lining up Ono for something. Nakamura taking Ono up on his shoulders into that... Oh, I forget what that's called. It's got a special name. It's the Arinagi or something like that on it, but... The Death Valley Driver into the Neckbreaker combination. That's what I would call it normally. And there's the rolling elbow to the back of the head by Cassius Ono on Shinsuke Nakamura. Ono dragging Nakamura away from the ropes. There's the pin. One, two, and three. Nakamura has been eliminated from this match as well. It's between Alistair Black and Cassius Ono now. Alistair Black is going to be on your Octane brand. Cassius Ono on your Carnage brand. Alistair Black, I think, really needs these points, actually. Uh, considering whereabouts he is in the rankings. Uh, but Chris Hero taking Black up into a jackknife powerbomb. And now Ono just shouting at the grounded Alistair Black. Ono dropping a boot on the back of the arm of Alistair Black. Now bringing him back up and uh, Nakamura finally able to get back up to his feet and leave the, the ringside area because he has been eliminated. Cassius Ono now has Alistair Black on the top. Oh, looking for something big here. Super backdrop. Yeah, Alistair Black's tattoos need a little bit of work as well. They're, they're the right tattoos. I just don't think they're textured very well for the body. So like I said, yeah, this is a temporary Alistair Black until we can get the real version or a better core comes along. But I think this version of Alistair Black is not bad at all, to be honest. It's, it's definitely usable. As once again, Cassius Ono running. Sit up. Pabo. Liger Bomb, if you will. One, two. No, Alistair Black able to kick out after the two. Running back sent on, missed there by Cassius Ono on Alistair Black. Black now dragging Ono along. But ono able to fight back with the elbows in the gut of Alistair Black and another big one as well, fighting free. Cassius Ono now 
Nice. Taking Alistair Black down and just tied him up in a knot into the half Boston Crab as well. The arm hooked and the leg as well. But Alistair Black, they're able to roll through. Nice. I like that maneuver. That was quite cool. Are we going to see the fade to Black or will we see another of the roaring elbows by Cassius Ono to win this one? There it is. Wow. Cassius Ono just flattened Alistair Black and Black slowly getting back up to his feet, but I don't think he's going to like what's coming next. It's the same thing. Another roaring elbow. Black bounced off the middle ropes and surely Cassius Ono is taking these first points in the bag. He does. There we go. Your winner of our first random match here on WWE 2K18 is Cassius Ono. We get to see what the replays are like now. That's a good manoeuvre. That's, that's good. There was a coup de grace by Leicester Black as well. That was an improvement. The raw and elbow to the back of the head, which was, of course, that eliminated Shinsuke. There was that first raw and elbow and then the second raw and elbow. So every single one of those highlights was actually very, very relevant, which is something that 2K17 was a problem. A lot of the uh, the a lot of them were, weren't really relevant, and it was a bit of a problem, wasn't it? But there we go. Cassius Ono's just earned himself 20 ranking points to take over to Carnage with him, uh, which is definitely going to put him in an interesting situation. And I did have an idea for a match to kick things off at Carnage, and uh, maybe them extra 20 ranking points for Cassius Ono. He might just throw a spanner in the works there, and maybe we might have to change that one and add him into it. So, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Of course, as I said earlier on, it was suggested by Fabian Schluter. Uh, I, I do apologise if I've not pronounced that right. I hope I have. Uh, of course, if you have any ideas for random matches, then please do drop them down in the comments section below. And, of course, I will add them into the hat. And, of course, if your match gets pulled out, we'll do that one and you'll get a shout-out in the process. If you have enjoyed this one, then please do like. And, of course, if you put a suggestion down there or just want to see some more, then make sure you subscribe as well. And, of course, our Universe Mode first episode of Mayhem will hopefully be starting this weekend. So don't forget to uh, keep an eye out for that. I've been Shabby Gamer, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time for another WWE 2K18 random match. Bye.